welcome to my Hackintosh project. Well, we are in my uh, Dell Latitude D830 and it's running Mac OS X 10.9 and that should be Mavericks. The OS that is removed out of the App Store, the user, uh, the purchased uh, list of the users that uh, had Mavericks, they cannot get it anymore. Thanks to the app that I still had and stored, I could, you know, uh, create a bootable USB stick with a lot of headaches. In fact, this machine, um, the installation uh, went at a certain moment. Uh, really good and at the end it had one more minute to go and uh, well that little minute you should not put your life on it you know you would die 10 times eh, in that minute because it took one hour and still it could not end uh, the installation so i just killed it i was kind of disappointed i thought oh man i you know just lost a great installation here but then uh, i rebooted the machine and uh well no joke it booted straight up to the desktop so i could then you know set up the machine and i got it uh to run to come to the desktop and you know uh of course sound was not working and the video resolution was not good and um uh, there was no wi-fi so how did i fix that all well you can see some text here and uh, i'm also uh yeah sub subscribe to the to the Tony X86 uh, side, Tony Mac 86, I think is his name. Uh, I also have an account there, so I can get great tools from there. And uh, well, one of the tools that I use to fix this Mac that in fact was created with uh, with a MyHack with a MyHack tool, because uh, the MyHack tool in fact also helped me uh, to. Uh, to install the boot files that I got from osxlatitude.com and that is a site that will have a special software you can say special text that uh, you can uh, yeah uh, slipstream while making the USB stick you can slipstream it thanks to uh, my hack uh, straight into the installer because if you don't do that you know the machine will not boot and you will just get uh, a kernel error the minute you want to go to the it wants to go to the apple so you really get a black screen saying uh, you must restart your computer so in no way you can do that without uh, this uh, this tool from osxlatitude.com so in fact yeah this machine the dell d830 has these boot files but they also show you on the website that the wi-fi and the bluetooth don't work so how did i get my wi-fi to work well i showed you uh, a video of the 4300 card that it uh you know how how it should be installed and uh, in fact i did the same installation on here but uh <laughs> it was very 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 surprising to see that even though uh the card was installed fine and we could turn it on and it would connect fine uh, it would not connect to uh to stations that uh, have some security enabled so in fact uh, this thing can only connect to open wi-fi spots such as kpn phone uh, and kpn phone uh, it will connect to it now uh, in fact i don't want to connect to it but here you can see uh, it will connect to kpn phone let me turn it off i'm not gonna use it but i'm not using it because uh, it cannot connect to uh, to Wi-Fi stations that have uh, security enabled. So that kind of sucks. So I inserted my Maxer uh, Wi-Fi card, the little one that I bought at the action for $4.99. Uh, it has drivers up to uh, up to Josmet 10.10 .10, and that from 10.5.8 up to 10.10. .10. This is a fantastic stick. If I'm, you know, I'm gonna see if they have more, I'm really gonna buy some of them, just store them away, you know, future purposes, because this will always let any hacking touch connect to the internet, thanks to this little stick. It also comes with a wireless utility that you can find here. And this uh, wireless utility will uh, effect show the link status. It will connect, you see that? Profiles, you can add a profile, available networks encryptions and bsid 
BSSID. Okay, so in fact, uh, this is all working just fine. We can close that. Internet will stay. Um, of course, uh, sleep is not really working. Let me show you about that. But what did I do? I just set the monitor to, you know, to go to sleep in a couple of minutes and then it will turn black. Uh, of course, I will not select that one. I did not deselect that one yet and put it on never. So it never goes to sleep because if it falls asleep, it might get stuck and you, you know, might have to. But I did not test that yet. Uh, about the sound, the Voodoo HDA uh, that I installed thanks to uh, the effort of um, Multi Beast of Tony X86 uh, side, I can get this going. Uh, but one thing you must be aware of, your Mac is always listening to you. So go here to microphone if you're not using the microphone and set this level here, this recording level, set it to zero. You will have to do that every time you boot up the machine. Okay? And uh, in fact, these settings here, they are not working. You see, I'm turning it off, but you can still hear me. And I'm turning it on, you can still hear me just the same. It doesn't matter. All right, so this is just uh, showing that there is some activity going on. And um, yeah, when you see this, meaning that uh, it has sound and people can also hear you if they are connected to the machine and they hack you. Um, what else should you know? Um, oh yeah about the firewall and security let me show you that real fast i also uh, installed or not installed i turned on the firewall here we can make changes so and uh, here in firewall options i just selected enable stealth mode and block all incoming connections so that's just fine okay this is just fine. This will just uh, 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 um, let all the apps ask you if they are allowed to go on the internet and you can answer that with yes and no and it will be, you know, it will be remembered. So that is really cool. App Store works. Uh, everything works. Oh yeah, the little um, thing here. What is it called? I never use it. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, Launchpad. Launchpad is not working for me. It, it, it does really crazy things so I'm not even looking at it I, I you know I don't even want to see it I want to if it's possible delete it you know but you cannot delete it <laughs> so um, yeah we're gonna leave it right there iTunes by the way is uh, the latest version so that is also really cool and uh, the latest version of iTunes changed a little bit you can see here the radio stations but you will not see this uh, yet because uh, you will have to go in here and go to edit and remove the little thingy you see there otherwise you will not see any internet radio and why was that done well because Apple also has their own music service now you see and if you want to listen then you must log in with your what with your uh, thingy and then you can log in you see and you can buy music etc and listen now live you have to log in with your id which if you're just looking for your internet radio stations they are still here and uh, they are set away a little bit so you know the apple music business also gets more attention because this is all completely free and nobody makes no money with this at apple okay so um yeah that is itunes itunes also very nice looks good um, what do we have more that I can show you? Well, in fact, uh, I also made a song. I downloaded my garage band from out of the app store. I bought it the other day. So I wanted to test it on this machine because this machine has great speakers, sounds really good. And this is the song that I created, but you will hear it in this video as well. And of course, I created that with uh, with GarageBand, and uh, 
this is the latest version of GarageBand that's why I needed uh, Mavericks in fact uh, to test this to see how it works well in fact peeps this is it uh, the review of the Dell D830 running Mac OS X 10.9 it uh, it's a special child I must say that um, it's a real special child but yeah it's done and uh, you can uh, listen to music you can not play videos oh yeah that is also something this thing cannot play videos so in fact this is just a cripple back eh? <laughs> for people that want to watch video etc this thing is not for you this is to be creative you can uh, go on the internet and you know uh, read the news but if you're like you want to go and you know uh, really watch a complete film on this then yeah you might get disappointed and it takes a little bit long to go to Google but finally we will be there and normally it's uh, way faster but of course we are recording the screen now and that makes it uh, all a little bit slower than uh, than it really is uh, also the Intel Core 2 Duo's processor uh, yeah it's still a Centrino it's it's kind of old you know this is a very old processor Centrino I think it was made in the time of Windows 9 what was it XP I think it was made in the time of XP so but yeah as you can see it works uh, you can read the news and uh, yeah you can uh, yeah just test uh, this machine a little bit around uh, you must have some patience once in a while because some stuff is yeah you you must treat it as a special child eh? as a special child well peeps not gonna make this video any longer i want to thank you for watching if you think this video was cool then of course you must leave it a like and subscribe to my channel if you did not already and uh in my next video probably i will if there yeah are people also kind of interesting to know how you know they can do a thing like this on the dell d830 really trust me it took my whole easter weekend to you know get this thing going where it is right now uh, i spent it more than uh i think at least 96 hours uh, working on this machine and uh, when i'm saying working it means like 24 you know it's working i'm busy with it you know wake up in the morning start the project and you know uh, go to bed while the project failed you know that's how it was and uh, this is how far i came with the system and i must say um it's good of course it's not as good as a real mac a real mac is way better of course although i must say that this thing has better temperatures than my macbook pro 3.1 this is completely not hot this complete machine is cool it's cooling really nice i have no uh, high temperatures here uh, no fan that is uh, blowing all the time so i'm really happy about that peeps uh, not gonna make this video any longer uh, my next video of course might show uh, how to create a bootable usb installer uh, for the Dell D830 of course I'm also gonna show how to do it uh, for some other machines but these names will be in the listings and then you can go ahead and test if your old uh, laptop can also uh, do a thing like this and learn about Macs and maybe one day you will just like me have many Apple devices